Hi everybody, I'm Karen Kellinger and I'm an assistant professor in, in food science. My job is to work in the area of food safety and do research and um, outreach that is relevant to producers in the state. And so the first project that we worked on was, was looking at finding an organically approved antimicrobial for poultry slaughter and um, we did a comparison our first two years of lactic acid and chlorine and what we found was that lactic acid did do a better job than chlorine at reducing the levels of general microorganisms and also organisms that indicate uh, the presence of fecal contamination because um, we know that chickens carry foodborne pathogens in their GI tract and when you remove the GI tract during the slaughter process there's a good chance for pathogen contamination to occur. And so we did both lab studies that showed that lactic acid um, was an effective compound to reduce salmonella on chicken. And also we did two years of field trials that showed that lactic acid was more effective than chlorine in reducing microbial levels on the chicken carcasses. And this year we're doing a second round of trials comparing chlorine lactic acid and another compound that would be organically approved called peroxyacetic acid. So um, perhaps next year at next year's field days we'll have some results from those trials. But um, the lactic acid concentration that's effective is a 2% lactic acid concentration that's applied for at least three minutes. And there's a handout in your booklet that describes lactic acid and making up that compound so that it's a 2% solution. Um, and let's see, lactic acid is organically approved. It's produced through a fermentation process by lactic acid bacteria. So um, those are kind of the probiotic good bacteria that are commonly used to make fermented food products. So it's a very natural process to produce that compound. Um, we'd like to welcome any questions at any point. So if y'all have any questions on lactic acid and poultry processing, this might be a good time before we move on. I think this is our kind of release date for that, but I think at this point we have at least two or three. Yeah, Andy, two or three growers that are adopting it. Mm -hmm. yeah, and in and in your handout, there's actually the companies that can provide kits to use when you're slaughtering to to develop the to have the lac lactic acid stuff. But I've talked. We're going to use it. We, we're switching totally from chlorine now to lactic acid. And I've talked to a couple other growers that are that are going to definitely uh, give it a, give it a try. Is it more expensive or less expensive for you? Um, it's a good question. It's probably, um, lactic acid is sold in, in fairly large quantities, so it's about $90 for four gallons. But So it might be good to kind of coordinate with other processors that would use it, because if you're going to use it, um, the the concentration that you use it at for a 30 gallon tub you use nine cups in a 30 gallon tub and in a typical processing day you would probably need to change that two or three times so four gallons would probably last you a couple years um, so it's probably a little bit more expensive but again you get to label the birds as organic which is probably beneficial to your consumers as they might like to see that that organic label on the final product Would it be great if, it's, it's, if you've got it for a couple of years um, I don't believe so I haven't checked the the expiration date on on ours I'll have to check on that but I think it should remain it's a lot more stable actually than chlorine which is nice because actually we did a demonstration last year um, and I I prepared a, a chlorine dip at the start of the field day and about two hours in advance and by the time the field day started the chlorine concentration was already too low to be effective as an antimicrobial because the heat causes it to dissipate over time and also it dissipates with the presence of organic material so you know as the chickens go in you really have to monitor that concentration throughout today the day to be sure that it's being a, an effective antimicrobial whereas lactic acid does not dissipate over time so that pH remains stable and the only reason you actually have to change the solution throughout the day is because you know blood and feathers and things accumulate in the in the solution and so it's more of an aesthetic reason to change the change the solution. So lactic acid has a lot of positive attributes compared to the chlorine. It might get some flavor effects. 
That's that's true. There, um, the studies in red meat indicated that there were more um, flavor and texture issues with the acetic acid because it is really concentrated, and so there's an off odor. And with the lactic acid, we haven't noticed any changes in flavor or odor of the of the birds. Now, we did in one year of the trial have some uh, yellow coloration of the skin that occurred, but um, there weren't any consumer. None of the folks that buy our chickens uh, had any concerns with it. Ha, ha, ha.